Hi, welcome to another video. So, there are a lot of open models coming out these days. First, Kimmy, then Quen 3 General, then Quen 3 Coder, and some more stuff in between were also launched. However, now there's another one called GLM 4.5. It is by ZAI or Jipu AI. This is the same company that OpenAI flagged a while back, saying they have the potential to be a major dominator in the AI market from China, which was quite interesting back then. Anyway, they have previously been known for their code GLM model, which was actually a really good model. It was one of the 32B models that was actually kind of amazing for sure. Anyway, here we have two models, which are GLM 4.5 and GLM 4.5 Air as well. So, the main GLM 4.5 is their flagship model, coming in at about 355 billion parameters. That's massive, and it puts it right up there with Quen. Then you have GLM 4.5 Air, which is a lighter version with 106 billion parameters. Still huge, but more manageable if you're looking for something with less hardware demand, or maybe just faster inference. Both of these are built on a fully self-developed mixture of experts' architecture, which is kind of cool because it allows them to be both powerful and efficient. ZAI is actually positioning GLM 4.5 as China's most advanced open-source MOE model right now, and they're making a big deal about it being fully open, auditable, and available for on-premise deployment. I really like it because it's not only about privacy, but you can get different kinds of providers with different speeds and prices, like with Grok or Cerebras or stuff like that as well. These models are hybrid reasoning models. You can toggle it to think or not think, and then it can give you the answers accordingly. Now, in terms of benchmarks, they have evaluated it across 12 different representative benchmarks covering things like reasoning, coding, and what they call agentic capabilities. Based on the average scores across these benchmarks, GLM 4.5 actually ranks pretty well, which is honestly impressive if it's true. It's a competitive, open-source model, and also tops the charts among domestic Chinese models. So, if you're looking for something open, that can really compete with the big names, this is probably the closest you'll get right now. GLM 4.5 Air, even though it's smaller, still punches way above its weight class. Among models in the 100B parameter range, it's basically leading the pack in terms of both performance and efficiency. So, if you don't have access to massive GPU clusters, but still want top tier results, Air is a pretty solid choice. You should be able to run it on a high-tier MacBook locally, which is quite awesome. Similar to things like Quen 3 Coder and Kimi, they have made it an agent-native design. What that means is, these models have agent capabilities built right into the training. They can do tool calling, and it will work well with things like Klein, Roo, Kilo, OpenCode, and all the stuff like that. That's a step beyond what you see in most open source models, and it makes them super interesting for real world tasks. Another thing I want to mention is pricing and speed. It is really amazingly cheap, and it comes to as low as 11 cents per million input tokens and 28 cents per million output tokens, which is honestly amazingly competitive. It's cheaper than DeepSeek, even cheaper than Kimi, and insanely cheaper than Quen. Plus, it's high speed and can generate over 100 tokens per second, so you're not sacrificing speed for price. This is if you use their official Chinese API. It is also available on Open Router, and that one apparently uses the Singapore servers and is a bit more costly but still, it's quite cheap. It costs $0.60 cents per million input and 
20 cents per million output, as well as 20 cents and $1.10 per million tokens for the air model. Now, let me show you how you can use it yourself, and how you can use it for free as well. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor, Dart. Tired of juggling tasks across different tools? Dart combines traditional project management with powerful AI features that actually get work done. Beyond organizing tasks and boards, Dart's AI can brainstorm project ideas, generate task lists, and even complete entire assignments for you. Their composer-like AI agent understands your full project context, so you can simply chat with it to create, edit, or delete tasks naturally. The real game changer is the custom agents. You can create custom agents that trigger from the built-in integrations or a N8N workflow or custom webhook for full customization. You can create a coding agent that pushes pull requests to GitHub, a marketing agent for campaigns, or a mailing agent for outreach. Then, just assign tasks and watch them get completed automatically. Plus, Dart integrates seamlessly with your existing workflow through their MCP server, connecting directly to Claude, ChatGPT, and other AI tools you're already using. Most features are completely free, with premium options starting at just $8 per month. Check out Dart through the link in the description. It might just transform how you work. Now, back to the video. First of all, head on over to VS Code, and then install Kilo Code or Klein or Roo if you don't already have them. Now, if you want to use it for free and give it a try before committing, then you can just use Kilo Code as it gives you $20 of free credits, which should be pretty much enough for trying it out. You can just head into the settings and then select the Kilo Code provider and then select the GLM 4.5 model here as well. You can also use the Air model in order to save more money. Apart from this, you can also use it with Klein and RuCode as well. In Klein, you can easily select Open Router and then select the GLM model here as well. You can also use the ZAI API itself as well. You can get the API key from there, and then you can also select the OpenAI compatible option and then put in the base URL and stuff here as well. Also, there's the option to use it with Claude Code itself. Yes, they actually have a proper Claude Code integration. You only need to get the ZAI API key, and then you can export the base URL and auth token for the API key, and then you can just start Claude Code and use that with this model. It works pretty seamlessly, which is quite awesome for sure. So, I tested it on my benchmark questions, and it's pretty awesome. It scores 2 out of 5 with Claude Code, which is the same as Quen Code. I have been using it a bit with Klein and Ru Code, and to be honest, I prefer it similarly to the Quen 3 Coder model for sure, and it's smaller and cheaper than that as well. Plus, it is also very similar to Kimi K2. This is a pretty amazing model. It's too early to say for sure, but this model has been performing quite well for me. I think that I might start using it now, because this is a pretty good model for sure. It's a pretty amazing model. There are some downsides, like it can be a bit verbose in the outputs, as well as the hybrid thinking thing is not something that I'm a fan of. So, this is an issue for sure. It is kind of in a limbo situation as of now for me, but I'll test it a bit more and see where it takes me. But the Air model can be pretty useful to use locally on high-tier MacBooks, as it's an MOE, and you can get faster speeds there as well. So, you can go ahead and give this a try for yourself as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.